this screencast I want to show you how you can use a free online tool called Kindlepedia to create your own Kindle formatted articles based on Wikipedia articles and better yet even though it says Kindle formatted those uh, files can be read on any ebook reader that can read Moby Pocket files so I'm going to demonstrate it using a bbook uh, e-reader so that works as well you can find Kindlepedia on the EduKindle website uh, the EduKindle website is maintained by Will Delamata I hope I pronounced his last name correctly you can find the information about him here so how does it work well say you go to Wikipedia and in this case we go to the English version of Wikipedia and you do a search for Kindle well, you find a number of possible Kindles but we'll go for the Amazon Kindle and you can see that this is a rather long page now wouldn't it be nice if you could store this page on your Kindle or your B-book or ebook reader or if you could just create an offline copy that you could hand out to your students well using Kindlepedia you can now do that the first thing you need to do is select and copy the URL and then you can go to the Kindlepedia page you can do it on the site that I showed you before but there's also a direct page at ebookarchitects.com it's very simple it says enter the Wikipedia URL here so I click in the box choose paste and click on create Kindle book then you gotta wait a few seconds it doesn't take that long and you get a button and if you click on that button you can download a Moby Pocket file for that Wikipedia article but I'm not gonna do that just now I'm gonna show you an even easier way to do that so let's go back to the Amazon Kindle page this one and what I did now was I created a small piece of JavaScript I'm gonna show you this is the JavaScript if you go to the URL you see on the screen now you can download this text you can just type it in yourself if you want what I'm going to do is I s select the JavaScript and I'm going to copy that then I'm going to go back to my browser in this case Firefox and I'm going to right click on the bookmark bar and I'm going to say create new bookmark well let's say we're going to name this bookmark create Kindlepedia file and I'm going to paste the JavaScript code in the location field after that I click on the OK button and I've created a new button on the button bar it says create Kindlepedia file now whenever I'm on a Wikipedia page that I want to save as a Moby Pocket file now all I have to do is just click on the button then I gotta wait again now it sends that information directly to the script that creates a Moby Pocket file and I can download that so it couldn't be easier now if I click on this link the browser will ask me if I want to save the file uh, in my case I've got the Moby Pocket Reader application installed on my laptop the reason for that is that my bbook doesn't have that fancy wireless access like you have with WisperNet on the Kindle so for the bbook I need to use the USB cable and then I got two options I can use the Moby Pocket Reader file um, that I usually use to add files that have DRM um, so I'm gonna use that Moby Pocket Reader in this case as well to put this Moby file on it but with this file I could just use the, um, the option to drag and drop it to the reader but I'm gonna do it the hard way so I'm gonna click on it the browser recognizes the file type sees the fact that I got Moby Pocket installed so if I click OK then the Moby Pocket Reader is opened with the Amazon Kindle uh, ebook that I just created and downloaded now it doesn't look that good but that's because it tries to display the Moby Pocket file in a very f small format so let's have a look at how it looks on the bbook first I need to 
connect the USB cable to the B-Book. So let's do that. Oh, oh sorry. Okay. Yep. It sees it, so I need to click OK. And then it connects to my laptop. And it will show up as a device in Moby Pocket Reader. Moby Pocket takes a look at the files on the B-Book, sees that the Amazon Kindle file isn't on there yet. And if I click on OK, it will transfer that file to my B-Book. So that's that. File has been transferred to the B-Book. If I now disconnect the B-Book again, it will go back into its normal mode. There is a default folder on the B-Book. By the way, the B-Book does have folders, unlike the Kindle. There's a folder called eBooks, and if I go into that folder, I will find my Amazon Kindle Moby Pocket file. So I can select that one by pressing on one, and we'll open that one. It's a small one, 92K, but still the first time it usually takes a while to open. Now this is the default Times New Roman uh, font, but I can change that by pressing o on OK, select font face, and then the iBook N font face. That's the one I prefer. You only have to do that once per ebook, and then it remembers that. So I can now browse through the ebook. I can use the hyperlinks in the table of contents, but that doesn't work that well. I can show you. I press on the OK button. I have to say follow link. Then it adds numbers in front of the links. So say I want to go to criticism, then I need to enter 9 and then press on OK again. It works, but like I said, usually with smaller Moby Pocket files, you, you, it's easy to browse. So I can browse through it. Uh, it shows images, it shows text. Formatting could do with some manual touch-up, but that probably has to do with the way it's formatted in the Wikipedia article. Nice thing about this is that, at least for us in the Netherlands, that it, it doesn't just work on the English Wikipedia pages, but it also works on the Dutch Wikipedia pages. So now you can easily save any Wikipedia page in Dutch or English and transfer it to your ebook reader as long as it can read Moby Pocket files. So it can be either B-books or Kindles. So that's all for now. Thank you.